हे एवरी वन रिसेंटली वन ऑफ आर सब्सक्राइबर्स वरुण क्रैक जावा डेवलपर इंटरव्यू एट डेलाइट ही हैज शेयर एवरी थिंग विद मी सो बेसिकली ही हैड फर्स्ट अप्लाइड फॉर डेलाइट करियर वेबसाइट एंड ही इज हैविंग टोटल फोर ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस सो देवर टोटल वन कोडिंग राउंड एंड थ्री टेक्निकल इंटरव्यू राउंड्स द कोडिंग राउंड वॉज ऑन हैकर रैंक एंड देवर टू सिंपल कोडिंग क्वेश्चन देयर ओके फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड टेक्निकल इंटरव्यूज व प्योर टेक्निकल राउंड एंड थर्ड वॉज मैनेजरल प्लस टेक्निकल राउंड ओके and guys if you want to share your interview experience then please fill the form below in the description and please make sure to subscribe to see such real interview experience so now let's get started with the technical interviews so in the first round the interviewer first asked to implement rest apis to get the list of employees and get departments with employee details okay so guys basically nowadays interviewer asked to implement rest apis a lot and this is very common so you have to know how to write apis from the scratch okay along with the controller file he asked to write the code for entity service and repository layer as well okay the api should have the default path as slash api okay so when varun implemented these two apis an interviewer asked some follow up questions like what if we change the return type of get departments with employee details api what are the path variables here what are the query parameters here and how can we do api versioning here okay and guys i want to write the solution of this api designing question here otherwise video would be very longer i have attached the solution of this question below in the description you can check that after watching this video okay their interviewer asked sql question the question was there were total three tables a b and c write a query to select all the person names from all the tables and whose status is eligible so guys we will use union operator here i have attached the solution in the description below and this is all about the first technical interview now let's start with the second technical interview guys so interviewer first asked what are key standards when developing an api this is similar to the best practices while writing rest api so key api development standards are using clear endpoints proper http methods consistent naming validation authentication versioning meaningful status codes pagination error handling and good documentation these ensures the api is reliable secure scalable and easy for clients to understand and use then he asked what is sql injection so sql injection is a security attack where malicious users inserts harmful sql code into input fields to access modify or delete database data it exploits insecure queries and can lead to data leaks unauthorized access or complete system compromise then interviewer asked how do we block sql injection attacks this is a follow up question guys so we could prevent sql injection by using prepared statements parameterized query input validations orm framework stored procedure and proper escaping also apply least privilege access firewall rules and strong authentications and never build queries by directly concatenating user input then guys he asked what are the http 300 series codes okay so guys candidates know about 200 and 500 series well but i noticed that most of the candidates don't know about 300 series so listen carefully basically http 300 series codes indicates redirection they tell the client to fetch or resource from another location examples are 301 it means moved permanently 302 it means found 304 it means not modified and guys before moving to the next question i would like to share one important thing with you actually we had launched interview preparation kit so let me tell you this interview preparation kit has four main parts first is complete interview preparation material it is a step by step material made by me expert and amenities interviewers 99% of the questions asked in interviews are covered in it second is two real enterprise client projects code and video recorded sessions are there you can add this in your resume third is lifetime chat support here you can ask your doubts anytime fourth is referral support here we help you get referred to the top mnc's so basically this material is organized as per your experience level and covers java spring boot spring security spring data jpa kafka microservices maven gate coding questions stream api coding questions and many more you can buy just the complete interview preparation material or the full kit with the project supports and referrals i have added the links in the below description So now moving to our interview experience guys then he has explained few design patterns used in core java this is very very important question guys so common java design patterns are singleton for one instance factory for object creations builder for complex objects observer for notifications and strategy for interchangeable behaviors okay 
दीज पैटर्न इंप्रूव कोड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी रियूज एंड मेंटेनेबिलिटी इन एप्लीकेशन देन गाइज ही आज हाउ डू वी ऑप्टिमाइज सिंगल्टन डिजाइन पैटर्न सो ऑप्टिमाइज सिंगल्टन यूजिंग लेजी इनिशलाइजेशन डबल चेक लॉकिंग एंड अ प्राइवेट कंस्ट्रक्टर वी कुड यूज वॉलीटाइल फॉर थ्रेड सेफ्टी एंड अवॉइड सिंक्रोनाइजेशन ओवर हेड द बेस्ट अप्रोच इज यूजिंग एन इनम बेस्ड सिंगल्टन विच इज थ्रेड सेव सिंपल एंड प्रिवेंट्स रिफ्लेक्शन और सीरियलाइजेशन इश्यूज then he asks what is transactional annotation and what are the isolations level so basically transactional manages database transactions automatically ensuring consistency and rollback on errors isolation level define how concurrent transactions interact like read underscore uncommitted read committed repeatable read and serializable okay then he asks how to configure spring boot to use an external cache so add the cache dependency enable caching with enable caching annotation and configure the external provider like redis or eh cache in application dot properties then use cacheable cache put and cache evict annotation to store and manage data in the external cache okay then interviewer asks how do we implement api versioning in spring boot so api versioning can be implemented using versions urls like v1 slash slash v2 request headers like x api versions or context negotiation create separate controllers or methods for each version to ensure backward compatibility while allowing new features without breaking existing clients okay then he asks how to secure sensitive information in spring boot so we could keep sensitive data out of code by using environment variables or external configuration files encrypt the values if needed and use tools like vault or aws secrets manager to securely load them at run time never commit secrets to git then interviewer asks what are the factors to consider when choosing a collection for sorting so secure sensitive data using environment variable encrypted properties spring cloud config vault https and restricting logs avoid hard coding secrets using strong authentication role based access input validations and enable security features like spring security or protecting endpoints and configuration then they asked to explain few microservices design pattern this is an important question again so consider data size need for duplications ordering requirements mutations frequency and performance for sorted results use tree set or tree map for fast sorting of list use array list choose based on time complexity memory usage and whether natural or custom ordering is needed guys an interviewer asked how to handle csrf in an mvc application so handle csrf by enabling server side csrf protection generating a unique token for each session and embedding it in forms the server validates its token on every post request preventing unauthorized or forked request from malicious sites or attackers then they ask how to enable cross domain access to your application so enable cross domain access by using cores configure allowing origins methods and headers in the servers example a spring boot cross origin annotation or global cores config this lets browsers permits request from different domains while still enforcing security rules then interviewer asks what is the difference between yield and join methods in multi threading this is also important question so yield the method hints the scheduler to pause the current thread and lets other threads run but it is not guaranteed join makes one thread wait until other threads completes yield annotation gives up cpu temporarily join and forces strict waiting then they asked to explain few j unit annotation so common j unit annotation include stress annotation for test method before each annotation and after each annotation for setup and cleanup before all annotation and after all annotation for class level initialization and disabled to skip test this helps organize manage and structure text execution effectively then interviewer asks what is mocking and stubbing so mocking simulates complex objects to test behavior without real dependencies whereas stubbing provides pre defined responses for method calls both helps isolate code during testing making tests faster predictable and independent of external systems like database apis or services okay 
then interviewer asked what are some annotations related to stubbing and mocking so common mockito annotations include mock annotation to create mocks inject mocks to inject dependencies spy annotation for partial mocks and capture for argument capture and extended annotation enables mockito in junit 5 and when annotation is used via code to define stubs then they ask what is circular dependency issue in spring boot the most common issue in the spring boot so circular dependency occurs when two or more spring beans depends on each other causing spring to fail while creating the application context it leads to bean currently in creation exception a proper design constructor injection or using lazy annotation helps break the cycle then they ask to explain do nothing method in mockito so do nothing method is used with mockito to stub void methods that should do nothing during test it prevents actual logic from running commonly used with do nothing dot mac like void method allowing test to run without triggering real side effects or external calls then he asked to explain aws so aws is a cloud platform offering services like computing storages databases networking security and devops tools it lets business deploy scalable reliable and cost effective applications without managing physical servers supporting pay as you go pricing and global infrastructure So guys this is all about second technical interview and in the third interview mostly question were from general and managerial topic like how do you manage your work who assigns the task and the deadlines are you involved in reviewing prs explain few design patterns in java which pattern do you see mostly in your projects why do you choose this role which methodology do you follow in your current project what is the use of jmeter can you name a few java libraries that implement singleton and factory pattern where do you see yourself in the next 5 years which is more comfortable for you remote work or in office so guys this is all about varun's experience at delight and don't forget to check interview preparation kit thank you